Hi, everyone. My name is Carl Barber, and I'm a postdoc in Stephen Elledge's laboratory at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. Today, I'll be talking about my research with creating a CRISPR-based peptide library display platform and creating self-assembling peptide microarrays that are templated on DNA microarrays. First, what, are the, what is the interest of creating protein display technologies? Creating protein libraries allows us to investigate protein-protein interactions and discover candidate new molecules that bind specifically to proteins of interest. Existing technologies like protein microarrays are very expensive, non-reusable, and non-customizable. And other display technologies like phage and ribosome display are costly and time-consuming, requiring next-generation sequencing uh, workflows. So with this in mind, we created this new CRISPR-based system for peptide uh, display. So the way that the system works is we encode a peptide as a C-terminal fusion to DCAS9, which is catalytically inactive Cas9 that's able to bind DNA but not cut it, and co-express it with a guide RNA that serves as a barcode for the presence of this protein or peptide fusion. By creating plasmid libraries that have these paired DCAS9 fusions with barcode guide RNAs, uh, we introduce this plasmid library into a single batch of E. coli, co-express the entire library, and isolate it in a single pool. From there, we've created this technique called Picasso, which is peptide immobilization via Cas9-mediated self-organization. This mixed library of uh, DCAS9 peptide fusions will self-assemble to positions on a template DNA microarray containing target DNA complementary to the guide RNA barcode of each peptide. As a proof of concept, we placed target DNA uh, molecules on microarray surfaces and demonstrate that DCAS9 will localize to the anticipated positions with low off-target localization. Using a very small mixed library of DCAS9 fusions to epitope tags, we demonstrate that each member of the library localizes two anticipated positions on the microarray surface. And in order to create larger scale libraries, we created this plasmid library generation protocol where we encode peptides and their uh, guide RNA barcodes on the same strand of DNA using oligonucleotide library synthesis and introduce this into a uh, expression vector uh, for expression in E. coli in a single batch. As a proof of concept, we performed experiments with a flag saturation mutagenesis library and characterized binding of a monoclonal antibody that binds to the flag epitope. We were able to recover the known uh, motif of binding for this anti-flag antibody, uh, this DYKXXDXX motif. We were also able to demonstrate that we were able to characterize the uh, epitope binding of a serum antibody. So this is an antibody present in a patient blood sample at, uh, in a mixed sample of many different antibodies and show the residues that were necessary to coordinate antibody binding. We compared our results to a saturation mutagenesis library of this influenza A peptide um, using a parallel phage display platform and show that Picasso operates uh, nearly identically to a phage display system, but is much faster to perform. And we also performed experiments where we tiled the proteome of SARS-CoV-2 as uh, peptides uh, across the S and N proteins and other accessory proteins of uh, SARS-CoV-2. Uh, using this Picasso microarray, we were able to demonstrate um, that we're able to detect uh, patient antibodies that target SARS-CoV-2 from convalescent patient serum samples and identify regions of the SARS-CoV-2 proteome that are most commonly targeted by patient antibodies. Having demonstrated that the Picasso microarray fabrication technology is an efficient and fast way to identify the antibodies that are present in a sample and to characterize them, we now want to expand the technology to present uh, larger full-length proteins because we've been limited to peptides this far. And we want to create the next generation of this platform where we curate many different common epitopes to perform rapid consolidated diagnostics. We also believe that Picasso will serve as a platform for the construction of biomaterials or protein origami so that you can position proteins wherever you'd like on a material uh, just corresponding to wherever you put DNA targets. With that, um, I'd like to thank my funding sources and the LH Lab for all of their support. And if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you.